stupendous Tiff Stevenson. Describe myself as a sexually confident woman, and I don't want you to get me wrong, uh, people in the comedy store tonight. I don't want you to get me wrong. That doesn't mean that I love everything about myself. Obviously not. I'm a human being. I'm layered like an onion <laughs> or a lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Insert your own food-based simile, right? There's parts of myself I don't enjoy, such as my bingo wings. <laughs> Has anyone else got the bingo wings? Yeah, I noticed none of you put your hands up. <laughs> If you do have the bingo wings, here's a fun thing you can do. Just wait till you're in a car travelling over 50 miles an hour. <laughs> Stick your arm out the window, see how fast they flap! <laughs> yeah! You'll laugh for five minutes and then you will cry for a year. <laughs> but at least you'll laugh for five minutes, right? <laughs> I don't want plastic surgery because I think it's too ubiquitous these days. I think it's the easy answer and women are going batshit on their faces and that is why we've had to invent emojis. <laughs> For women who've had so much plastic surgery they can no longer express human emotion <laughs> and that way you can just hold up your iPhone going I feel happy, <laughs> I feel sad, I feel like a smiley poo with eyes. <laughs> I am being a bit disingenuous, actually. I am, a little bit. Because there is one form of surgery I would consider. I would consider getting a penis attached. <laughs> yeah. And that way I'd earn 19.7% more than I currently do. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Take that! <laughs> I went to see that film, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Have you seen that? Yeah. It's a good film, isn't it? It's kind of like a PG Tips ad with Gary Oldman in it. <laughs> Before the film came on, this advert came on for this really cool guy. You didn't see his face, you just heard his voice, and it went a bit like this. I was there when the sun was rising in Japan. I was there running with the bull in Spain. I was like, who is this guy? He sounds well-travelled. <laughs> Carried on. I was there for the dawn chorus. I was there at the peak of Mount Kilimanjaro. I was there backstage at Glastonbury in Woodstock. I was like, who is this guy? I think I want to have sex with him. <laughs> I was there for Fashion Week. London, Paris, Milan, Rome. I am San Miguel. <laughs> no! No, not cool, beer company, not cool. <laughs> Because what you just did there was you just anthropomorphised a beer to the extent that I wanted to have penetrative sex with it. <laughs> I don't think that's cool. I don't think it should be allowed because beer is not people. And you shouldn't be allowed to sell beer as if it is people. It's also not realistic. Because if we were being honest about beer, any beer, it doesn't matter, right? That advert would be... I was there when you decided to drive the car. <laughs> I was there when you didn't wear a condom. <laughs> I was there when you went on Groupon at 4am and purchased a falconry experience. <laughs> Look, and I don't mind drinking as well. I do drink. I drink quite a lot, actually. I drink because I live in a world where the Kardashians exist. <laughs> and there's nothing I can do about it. You know? I'm not a fan of them at all. In fact, I got in trouble recently for saying something about the Kardashians on TV. It was first thing in the morning. We were doing sort of a newspaper review. And there was a picture of Kim Kardashian. And next to the picture was a tweet that she'd done that day. Now, I'm going to tell you the tweet. I'm not going to change a word of it. I just want you to know she put this out into the universe as a thought. The tweet said, Oh, my God, if I ever lost my Blackberry, I would, like, literally kill myself. And all I said was, someone should mug her. <laughs> <laughs> At which point the TV presenter said, I don't think it's appropriate to joke about suicide on breakfast television. <laughs> and I said, assisted. <laughs> A small but very important distinction. <laughs> You've been lovely. I've been Tiff Stevenson. Good night. Thank you. Stupendous. Tiff Stevenson. <laughs> describe myself as a sexually confident woman and I don't want you to get me wrong uh, people in the comedy store tonight I don't want you to get me wrong that doesn't mean that I love everything about myself obviously not I'm a human being I'm layered like an onion 
or a lasagna. <laughs> Insert your own food based simile, right? There's parts of myself I don't enjoy, such as my bingo wings. Has anyone else got the bingo wings? Yeah, I noticed none of you put your hands up. <laughs> if you do have the bingo wings, here's a fun thing you can do. Just wait till you're in a car travelling over 50 miles an hour. Just stick your arm out the window, see how fast they flap. Yeah, you'll laugh for five minutes and then you will cry for a year. <laughs> But at least you'll laugh for five minutes, right? <laughs> I don't want plastic surgery because I think it's too ubiquitous these days. I think it's the easy answer and women are going batshit on their faces and that is why we've had to invent emojis. <laughs> for women who've had so much plastic surgery they can no longer express human emotion. <laughs> and that way you can just hold up your iPhone going, I feel happy, <laughs> I feel sad. I feel like a smiley poo with eyes. <laughs> I am being a bit disingenuous, actually. I am, a little bit. Because there is one form of surgery I would consider. I would consider getting a penis attached. <laughs> yeah. And that way I'd earn 19.7% more than I currently do. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Take 